how are you my dear students i hope everyone is okay and also is still fine today i have just select very important topics here's the important topic basically we also select about the physics physics type structure here's the physics type chapter we also explain about the chapter 7 here's the chapter 7 the earth and the gravitation you know what's the meaning of the gravitation and what's the meaning of the what's the reasons of the earth's structure now newton put forward the law of gravitation that all particles in the universe attract each other by a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely is the squares of the distance apart yes main thing basically main topics here's there the first structure is the newton you know who is the newton basically newton he is a very very famous scientist here again i also repeat newton put forward the law of gravitation that all particles in the universe attract each other by a force which is proportional to the product of their masses and in and inversely as the squares of the distance apart. Here's first structure is the masses and second structure is the distance apart. Does this force of attraction vary from place to place? Yes. Again, on what factor does this force depend? In this chapter, we will discuss gravitation, gravity, acceleration due to gravity, mass and weight. My dear students, please everyone underline these topics. First structure is the gravity, second is the mass and third is the weight. Please everyone put second pages. Here the 70 pages, the lesson 1, the gravitation. Yes, first I just select, first lesson is the gravitation. Here's the gravitation. If we jump, we cannot go up very much. We fall back to the surface of the earth. Fruits fall from trees on the earth. Why do all these properties? And why do all this happen? The reason is that the earth attracts these objects towards it. It is not only the earth that attracts us. In fact, all objects in the universe attract one another. This universal attractive force is called the gravitation. You might have heard the story of Newton and the fall of an apple from the tree on the ground. As the story goes, Newton was sitting in this garden and was engaged in thought. Suddenly, he saw an apple to fall on the ground. The question came to his mind, why did the apple fall towards the ground? Something must be attracting it towards the ground. After much speculation, he came to the conclusion that the earth attracts every object towards it later on. He came to more specific conclusion that it is not only the earth, but all objects in the universe attract each other towards their center. The attractive force that exists between any two particles in the universe is called gravitational force. Here's the Two particles in the universe. Two particles in the universe. We also explain here the uh, solar system. Here is the solar system. You know there are the um, many orbit. First orbit here is also the Mars. Second is the Earth. Third is the uh, Jupiter, etc., etc. So they are also this structure. I also give the example. Yes, this structure is the Earth and second is the Jupiter. Okay, they also the attractive each other. This is called also the gravitation. Again, Newton's law of gravitation and the gravitational force. Please, everyone underline. It's also very, very important topics for your exam. Each particle in the universe attracts every other particle with the force which is proportional to the product of their masses and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. Newton, de sorry, Newton developed an important theory that the gravitational attraction between two homogeneous spheres in proportional to the product of their masses 
and inversely proportional to the square to of the distance between their centers. This is because for spherical bodies, the whole mass of the sphere can be assumed to be at the center of the sphere, provided the observer is outside the sphere and the sphere is homogeneous. If we assume that the two point object, objects or spherical bodies have masses here, two points, first point is the M1 and second point is the M2, there are also the masses. Again, please if you will see the books. Again, this is because for spherical bodies, the whole mass of the sphere can be assumed to be at the center of the sphere, provided the observer is outside the sphere of the sphere is homogeneous. If we assume that the two point objects or spherical bodies have masses M1, and M2 and the distance between them is D. Here I just, uh, I just write this. First structure is the mass 1 and also the mass Mi. And the mass, mass 2 here is the M2. And the distance is the D. And this structure is F is the another structure is the force. Again. Then the gravitational force F acting between them is given by Z equal to F equal to Z into M1 into M2 divided by D square. Again, I also explain part structure. Here is the force. This force is equal to Z. And the M1 is the first masses and the M2 is the second masses. And here is the distance is the another structure is the distance is also the square. Here is also the very, very equational theory. Again. Here G is the constant of proportionality. Here's the G is the constant is the proportionality. It is called the universal gravitational constant. This means that if two spherical bodies, each of which has mass one kilogram and the distance between them is one meter, the attractive force between them is G is magnitude. If the bodies are spherical, the distance is measured from the centers of the spheres. From the formula of gravitation, we find that if the distance between the two objects is fixed and the product of their masses is doubled, the gravitational force becomes double. When the product of again I also explain my dear students, from the formula of gravitation, we find that if the distance between the two objects is fixed and the product of their masses is doubled, the gravitational force becomes doubled. When the product of the masses is three times, the corresponding force will be three times greater. If the distance between the objects is doubled, Keeping the product of the masses constant, the corresponding force will be one-fourth and when the distance is made three times larger, the corresponding force becomes one-ninth of original force. The earth moves around the sun due to the influence of gravitational force just as a ball attached to a string can be made to revolve because of the tension in the string. Now answer. Why do the planets revolve around the sun? My dear students, again I also give you this uh, chapter 2 and not chapter 2, basically lesson 2, I just also give the first the meaning of the gravity. Gravity. We know that every material or particle in the universe attracts each other. When this mutual attraction involves any two objects in the universe, we call it gravitation. If one of the objects is the earth and the attraction on the object is due to the earth, we call it gravity. When a cricket ball is thrown upwards, it falls back to the earth due to the attraction of the earth. My dear students, in the previous class, I just also explained about the chemistry based structure. Here's the chemistry based structure we also know as from the structure of atoms. My dear students, here the structure of atoms, we also know that the atoms, particles, compounds, etc, etc. Today, I have just also selected the physics-based structure. 
Here's the physics structure. The title is the Earth and the Gravitation. Here's the Earth and the Gravitation. We also know about the Newton's theory. Here's the Newton's theory. We also know here's the force basically. Here's the force equal to Z. In the M1 into M2 divided by D square. Here's the F. Basically, F the another meaning is the force. G is the another name is the uh, constituent. Again, I also the gravitational constant. And the M1, here's the M1 is the first masses and the second masses is the M2. And the D, basically here we also know the D square. Here's the D square is the distance. But dear students, today I have just also finished this topics today. Thank you my dear students. Bye.